my name is Ruthie and today here at the Singer Featherweight Shop we are going to be showing you how to polish your Singer Featherweight case. The products you are going to need are wood glue or regular craft glue works, a magnum sharpie marker, a chisel tip sharpie marker, liquid scuff cover kiwi polish, the regular black paste kiwi shoe polish, a buffing brush, and a shoe polishing brush. And also, if the latches on your case are very dirty or grimy, the product that we are going to be using today to clean them is a product called Neverdull. If they are really bad, we are going to be using a metal polish. If you're going to be using this product, you'll want just a regular dollar store toothbrush. And also for the case handle on this case, we're going to be using a product called E6000 Glue. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is to wipe down the case with a damp paper towel to get any dirt or grime off it. Next, we want to clean the latches on the case. For this we use Neverdull. Neverdull looks like batting that is soaked in a cleaner. This can be found at most automotive parts stores or at the automotive section at Walmart. However, if the latches on your case are extremely dirty, we will be using a metal polish. This does take a little bit of scrubbing. Once you get the grime off your latches, you will want to then take your damp paper towel and wipe them down again. Okay, here I'm going to be gluing down the loose fabric on this case. This is a different one than the case that we are going to be polishing, but it is a very common problem, so I wanted to show you how to fix this. After applying the glue, simply work it in with your fingers until the covering on the case is stuck down. Then wipe away any excess glue with a paper towel. You can use this same method on the inside of the case as well, and also on the bottom, which is a very common area for there to be fabric peeling away. Now we are going to be refurbishing the black covering of the case. You are going to want to start with a chisel tip sharpie marker around the latches and hinges of the case. Next, you're going to want to get out your Magnum Sharpie marker with the wide tip to cover any scuff marks, white paint, or exposed wood. Here at the Featherweight Shop, we cover the entire case for a more uniform look. Although this is a very smelly process and you will want to do this in a well-ventilated area, you don't want to skip this step because the white scuff marks and exposed wood will show through the other polishing products that we are going to be using. Now, we are going to be using our liquid kiwi scuff cover shoe polish. You want to do this on the entire case and it does dry pretty fast. Now that we have finished that step, we are going to be using our black paste shoe polish. You will want to apply this with a shoe polishing brush to get into the texture of the fabric on the case. After you have applied this on the whole case, the case will have a hazy look. After that, you will want to let it dry for about a half hour. Once the case is dried, you're going to want to wipe it down very well with a paper towel. After you have wiped it down with a paper towel, you next are going to use your buffing brush to get into the texture of the case. It will give it a nice glossy shine. With this particular case, the leather handle is falling apart and we are going to use our E6000 to glue it back together. Once the glue on your case handle is dried, 
you want to polish it the same way you did the case. However, because these cases are very old and fragile, we don't recommend carrying them by the handle. We do carry a high quality replacement handle. And to take the old handle off, simply take needle nose pliers and separate the D-rings. The new case handles do come with D-rings. Simply take a pair of channel locks and pinch the D-rings together. Replacing the case handle is a very easy process, but having an extra set of hands does help. Here is our final product, and you can do this with your case at home as well. If you happen to have a tan or a white featherweight case, the process that we have just used will not work. However, you can clean these cases with a mild soapy solution using a soft bristled brush, testing on the bottom of your case first. We hope you found this tutorial helpful, but if you have any questions, you can contact us here at the Singer Featherweight Shop.